my name is Julie, and today I'm going to show you how to create a YSG Hybrid offline project and debug it on a Mac computer. So right now I'm on a Windows computer. I'm actually going to create the project in Windows and then transfer it to a Mac. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm just on GitHub here. I'm just creating a repository. You can transfer your project however you want. You could use a, a flash drive or email the file or whatever, but a repository is just the easiest way. So I've called it YSJ Hybrid Mac, the public repository. It's got the Visual Studio Git Ignore. So I'm just going to hit Create Repository. And this is the URL of my repository, so we'll just keep that in mind for later. Let me just go ahead and open up GitHub Desktop. You can clone it however you like, but I like using GitHub Desktop. Uh, so File, Clone Repository, and then I'll just clone that onto my computer. So I've just got an empty repository, and then I can also clone this onto my Mac computer later when I need to. So let's open up Visual Studio. We will create a new project. And you should see the YSJ and YSJ Hybrid templates here. If you don't, make sure you've got C Sharp and YSJ.net selected. And also make sure that you've got the most recent VSIX for YSJ installed, which you can find on our website. I'm gonna go ahead and create a YSJ hybrid client application, which if you want, you can even search by YSJ.NotHybrid. You can see I get fewer options here, so I'll create the client application. I will go ahead and create that in the folder. So in my GitHub folder, I just created YSJ hybrid Mac. We'll just create it in there. Hybrid client one is fine. We'll just stick with the default name and create. I'm going to go ahead and build this for Windows and Mac Catalyst. And this will be a local um, app. So that pops up with a new Visual Studio project. You can see hybrid client one here. OK, so now we need to add a second project to the solution. So right click, add new project. And this is going to be a hybrid offline one, so I'm going to choose hybrid local application. If you wanted an online, you could choose hybrid remote. Hit create. Again, we'll build for Windows and Mac Catalyst. Hit OK. And then we need to link these two projects. If I right click on dependencies, add project reference. So hybrid client one will reference Weisha hybrid local application one. And we'll hit OK. Next, I'm going to go to certup.cs in our hybrid client. And we want it to work offline, so I'm going to uncomment this line of code. And you notice I get the little squigglies here, so it needs a using at the top. So I'm just going to use the shortcut, or you can manually type it. So it says using YJ hybrid local application one, right? So it's just referencing this project here. We'll save that. And then in our YJ hybrid local application, I'll go ahead and open page1.cs. This basically shows what we're going to see when we actually run the project. And this right here is why we're working in Windows here. If you want to use the YSJ designer, you have to be in Windows. The designer would not work on a Mac. So you can use Visual Studio on a Mac, at least for now. They're phasing it away. But even if you open Visual Studio on a Mac, the designer won't work. You can still edit the code. You can edit like the text of the code manually, but you won't get this nice visual designer. So it's a lot easier to edit your project in Windows and then test on Mac. So let's open the toolbox. I'll go ahead and add a button. And you know, again, this is the designer, so you can you know move it around, style it however you want, but we'll just keep it looking pretty plain. Let's see, I want to see my properties there. And then we already saw the toolbox, but you can use that to show the toolbox. And then to add the click event, you could either go to events here and add the click event, or you can just double click on the button. I'll just double click on the button here. All right, so we've got a click event. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to display a different message depending on if we're running in Windows or on a Mac. So I'm just going to copy paste this code in and then explain it. And this is just going straight into the button click event. All right, so if device dot valid, so this will test if we're actually running in a local environment as opposed to in a web browser. 
So if you think of like a non-hybrid YJ project, those just run in the web browser, right? So if device.valid tells us we're running on Windows or Android or Mac or iOS, like running locally. Um, so my else statement to this is it'll just show an alert box that says running from web browser. So if the device is valid, so then we're going to get the platform and save it in a variable called sysinfo. And this platform is just equal to Windows or Mac OS or Android or whatever. If it's Mac Catalyst or if it's Mac OS, uh, we'll just put an alert that says welcome, hello from Mac OS. Else, if it is WinUI, so if it's Windows, we'll say hello from Windows. And then if you wanted, you could add that checks here for Android or iOS, but I'm not going to bother to do that. And then I just have another else, so it'll say welcome, hello from YJ Hybrid. So if it was on Android or iOS, it would just give us this hello from YJ Hybrid. So let's go ahead and test this. So I'll go ahead and run this. All right, so you can see it runs. There's our button. I click the button. Hello from Windows. Right, so it's working. Okay, so this is great. So we're done uh, working on Windows, at least for the moment. So if I go back to GitHub Desktop, you can see there's all of these changes that have been made, right? All of the files that we added. So I'm just going to say initial commit and go ahead and push that. So the next step is to open it on a Mac. All right, so I'm on the Mac now. In this case, I am actually just remotely connecting to a different Mac computer, but you could, you know, be in a physical computer, use a virtual machine, whatever works for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and get our repository here. Again, using GitHub Desktop, you can clone your repository however you want or move your files however you want. Okay, so we've got GitHub Desktop open. Let's do file. Clone repository. See if I can find it here. So it's called YSJ Hybrid. There we go. Okay, so I had to hit the refresh button because it, it was a new repository, so it wasn't showing up at first. But YSJ Hybrid Mac is the one we want. Um, I'll just clone it to this folder on the desktop. So YSJ Hybrid repo, and then I'll create a new folder called YSJ Hybrid Mac inside of it. That's fine. So click clone. And there we go. It is cloned. And then if I fetch origin, so it should have the most recent update. And we go to history. Yeah, we can see the initial commit where I added all of those files. So the next step is we need to actually open this code on the Mac computer. And for a little bit, you'll be able to use Visual Studio on Mac computers, but they're getting rid of it. So we're just going to go ahead and use Visual Studio Code because that's what everyone is going to be using moving forward. So I'll open up Visual Studio Code here. This is just what it, it looks like when you first open it. Something that you need to make sure is that you have the right extensions installed. So if it, I go to extensions, this is what you're going to need installed. .NET MAUI, .NET install tools, C Sharp, C Sharp Dev Kit. So the nice trick with these is if you install .NET MAUI, the rest of these will get installed automatically. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open my project. So there's a couple ways you could do that. You could open it here. I'm actually just going to go to the Explorer here, and because nothing is open, it gives me all these options. I'm going to go ahead and open a folder, and if you remember, it was on my desktop. It is YSJ Hybrid Repo, and then YSJ Hybrid Mac is the one we want, right? And then you can see there's two folders inside for our two projects. So YSJ Hybrid Mac is the one we want, so I'll click Open. And then you can see here in the Explorer, it's got the files. So this Explorer is just, it's just a file system essentially, right? It just shows all the files in the folder that you opened. We can actually minimize this and we can open the Solution Explorer. So this is just like the Solution Explorer in Visual Studio. The next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that our build targets are set correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and open my CS project file. So if I click on hybrid client one, you'll see it there, the CS project file. And you see our target frameworks are for Windows and Mac. 
right? Because that's what we set when we created the project. I'm going to go ahead and delete the Windows target so it just targets Mac. You will need to do this in order to get it to build on a Mac. If you like, especially if you're using a GitHub repository like I was, you don't have to commit these changes. So you could just have it this way on the Mac and then not commit the changes so it still has the Windows build setting on Windows. And you do Alt S to save, and then we'll go ahead and open the other CS project file. And same thing, we will delete Windows, and then I'll also delete Net48, and then Alt S to save. The next thing is to make sure you're building to the right place. So if you go to the bottom of the screen here, it'll show the language. So in this case, it's XML because I've got the CS project file selected, but if I select like a uh, CS file, like startup.cs, it'll switch to C sharp. So right next to the language, you'll see there's these little brackets and you want to click on those and set the debug target. For some reason, the first time that I opened Visual Studio Code, it set it to Mac Catalyst, which is build only, which is really annoying because you go to build and run it and then it just builds it. It doesn't actually run it, so you can't really test it. So you want to set it to my Mac and that's what it's set to right now. And then after that, let's go ahead and build and run. So if we go here, the run and debug. We'll click on run and debug. It's going to ask us to select a debugger. We'll set .NET MAUI. So YSJ Hybrid is built off of .NET MAUI. That's why we're selecting .NET MAUI here. And there you go. It's running and we can see our button. So if I click on my button, now I get hello from Mac OS, right? So it's it's running natively on a Mac. And that is how to build and debug a YSJ hybrid project on a Mac computer.